Hi, we are Duncan and Jill. We work for the Housing Access team here at Exeter City Council. We are part of the Housing Needs team. And today we are going to talk about a new service that we have just launched. The Housing Access team has a new service. Can you tell me about it? Yep, it's a project working with people who have been rough sleeping to give them the practical skills to look for privately rented accommodation. At the moment, the working title is Private Rental Sector Access Training. It sounds interesting. How does it work? Well, we'll be working with a small group of people, one-to-one, -to, -one, to talk about how the private rented sector works in terms of looking for accommodation, what to say to landlords at initial contact, presenting themselves at viewings and following up afterwards. We'll also have a group workshop focusing on maintaining a tenancy once somebody has moved into accommodation, and that will be delivered by our partners at BCHA. We can also speak to landlords on behalf of those on the scheme to liaise with them. And how long is the project for? It's pilot and it's for a year. Scheme sounds like it covers a lot of ground. Well, we hope that it gives real skills and confidence to people to search for privately rented accommodation. And once they've seen something suitable, to have the confidence to approach a landlord or agent. And of course, once they're in accommodation, to have the basic skills and knowledge to maintain their home. A lot of this sounds like it's skill-based and confidence building. It sounds like it might be a mixture of practical skills and have an emotional dimension too. Yeah, it does. There's a lot of competition for privately rented accommodation at the moment, especially in Exeter. So I hope that by sharing practical advice on such things as what to say to a landlord, how to present it a viewing, what paperwork to take with you, and being prepared for questions a landlord might ask, that we'll be giving people confidence by knowing what to expect in advance. And many of the people we'll be working with will have had negative experiences of private renting. So we want to acknowledge that and maybe see what's gone wrong in the past and how it might go better in the future. And practically? Practically, we'll talk about things like right to rent, making sure they have their ID and paperwork ready and where to look for references. We'll also have some extra information such as about Renting with pets, for example, like getting a pet CV together, that kind of thing. What about financial help? A scheme does have some resources to help with rent in advance, security and holding deposits, and possibly with other things too. So once someone's moved in, they'll have training to look after their home. What kind of things will that cover? Well, our training's by BCHA, our partner agency, and it will cover health and safety, basic maintenance, affordability, living with other people, tenancy agreements, generally helpful, um, the genuinely helpful and practical stuff. So part of the project works with people who have been rough sleeping in the past to skill them up for looking for private rented accommodation and to present themselves uh, positively um, to a landlord as a pr prospective tenant. And the second part of the scheme works for those people to maintain their home in useful and practical ways. Yeah, that's right. And if landlords are interested and might uh, are listening and might be interested in finding out more, they can contact me. I'm more than happy to have an informal chat. In fact, to be honest, I'd like to find out what they think in constructive ways so that we might be able to feed that information back to the people that we're working with. So they can call me, Jill, on 01392 265 248 or they can email the housing access team on housing.access at exeter.gov.uk. Thank you. Thank you, and thanks to everybody who's listening.